let's just talk about the far right for a second, because uh, Marine Le Pen, I mean, she changed the name of the National Front Party to the National Rally Party in a bit to sort of normalize the far right extreme image the party has had for so long. Uh, they didn't win a single region. But do you think that she's ex succeeding in her strategy to normalize her party ahead of the elections uh, in 2022? Well, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Of course, her father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, the kind of, you know, uh, the ogre of uh, the Front National past, has resurfaced, of course, to criticise uh, this idea of the dédiabolisation, the kind of the de-devilment of the party, which he believes has kind of removed some of the aggression and difference from what the party offered in the first place. And, of course, you're right, this idea of trying to recondition the ideas and mainstream the ideas of the extreme right uh, came with this rebranding, came with, of course, we saw this played out in the Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur, as well, with former uh, kind of centre-right party uh, members um, now joining the Rassemblement National. Uh, and of course, you can see even down in uh, Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur, they're, they're kind of, you know, trying to um, essentially campaign and look for the kind of voters that would have voted for François Fillon last time round. You know, those very kind of identitarian, kind of nationalist voters um, who might have been kind of pulled to the right of uh, the Les Républicains, the kind of people that Laurent Vauquier was trying to kind of court uh, in the European elections in 2019. But this is really interesting, I think. Of course, those Republican fronts held where um, parties combined to run against uh, the Rassemblement National across the regions. Um, but it might well represent perhaps another example of this idea of the glass ceiling um, for the extreme right, where they're unable to push through even as they try to sort of masquerade themselves as a much more centrist party. We've heard, of course, that they still offer quite a few alarming policies um, around these things. So it's interesting to see how much this is, you know, a mask, how much this is a, a reconditioning, how much it is just a rebranding of the same old party and um, with a new cast of people drawn further from the centre. Um, interesting to see, massive setback for them tonight. I think there will be changes in terms of what happens. It will be interesting to see how that develops. But the Rassemblement National did not get the national rally that it called for um, in the regional elections this evening. And again, I think that is a positive thing for anyone interested in the Democratic Republic uh, of France.